Thanks for joining us. An Albemarle County man is dead after an hours long standoff with police in Charlottesville. The incident closed roads and had people in schools and businesses sheltering in place. NBC 29's Isabel Cleary is live in our newsroom now with our top story at 6. Good evening, Isabel. Casey, Steve, just before 6, Charlottesville police said that road closures on 250 and hydraulic have been lifted. This comes after 10 this morning when Albemarle County police saw a man who was wanted by Charlottesville police near the Red Roof Inn. The man fired shots and fled, leading to about two hours of tension and unknowns in the city. Charlottesville police say all of this started with an attempted arrest. Detective attempted to engage that suspect who then fled on foot, fled on foot into a wooded area. Those woods are between the Red Roof Inn and the 250 bypass near Hydraulic um, Road. The suspect started firing rounds while in that area and at that time out of abundance of caution we went ahead and um, and initiated a lockdown in the area. That lockdown closed the bypass for several hours and forced nearby schools to ramp up their precautions. The suspect, later identified by police as 44-year-old Billy Seitz of Albemarle, moved from the woods to the bypass when he was confronted by Albemarle's tactical team. The tactical response team of the Albemarle County Police Department attempted several times to use less lethal, which was unsuccessful. Chief Cautious says officers tried to use less than lethal weapons. It did not work. At some point during that encounter, the suspect turned towards the tactical response team and pointed his firearm at them. At that point, they fired at the suspect, striking him several times. Sites was taken to the hospital but did not survive. CPD says the Virginia State Police are now investigating this officer-involved shooting with full cooperation from both Abmarl and Charlottesville Police. Live in the newsroom, Isabel Cleary, NBC 29 News at 6.